Hey guys, it's Brojo Biking here, and today we're doing a review of the Rome Copilot Universal Bike Mount for smartphones. This is the black one. Uh, for installation, you have to choose a 1 to 3 setting that fits the handlebars, rotate the mount into the optimal viewing position, twist the handlebar screw until closure is tight, apply the silicone net to the four corners of your phone, and then there's a more detailed instruction at the website. Here's the back of the box. And here's a little quote on the side. And let's get, go ahead and start opening this box. I have not even opened this box yet, so this is totally new for both you and me. So there's the opening here. On the inside, we have these two rubber pieces here. We'll get into these in a second. Next up, we have the main bike mount, which has another one of these rubber pieces. And here's the main contraption here for the bike mount. So on the back, there are some rubber pieces here. Um, on the side, there's a logo, so there's a Rome. And then, yeah, there's also this um, adjusting piece on the uh, for the phone. On the inside, there is a little 40% off coupon uh, for the next purchase of Rome products for biking. I'm not going to need this anymore. And so on the side here, there is some photos you can see of some of the parts, which include this rubber piece, this main contraption, um, and this piece here. So it says first we have to fit one to three settings that fit the handlebars, which will probably be one of these guys. Wrap around. Yeah, so these these pieces here are basically what wraps around the phone, keeping it stable. And this is where the foam the, the um, phone is going to be placed in here and these will wrap around the phone. So yeah, let's go ahead and check this out. Right here I have a phone with me. This is an iPhone 6 for size reference. And so this is the smallest rubber part, silicon netting to fit around. And on the back here, there is a little dial. I will adjust the tightness for the silicone piece. What I'm going to do is unscrew it and show you guys how this works. So first you pop this off and there's a rubber piece here. This is basically what's going to attach onto your phone when you place it on. So you basically just attach it to the four corners like so. And what it does is it is going to keep your phone secure while you are biking. And so it wraps around the phone. And this is a very, very secure fitting because of the amount of uh, tightness there is on the phone with the cover. And there are also these bigger ones, these bigger nettings for larger phones. Um, this iPhone 6 is a smaller phone, so I would not recommend using this for a bigger phone, such as a, a Galaxy uh, Plus series phone. I would probably use a larger phone like this, or if you have like an uh, iPhone 11 Pro Max, or like a bigger phone like that, then I would recommend using a bigger net. And so to secure the phone onto the piece here, first you have to do is you have to place the phone in this rubber piece here, this rubber clamp. And what that does is basically, this is the basic hold for the phone. Next, what you wanna do is find the piece of silicone that is going to fit your phone. So this is a smaller phone, so I'm gonna use the smaller gasket. And you place it on the back as such. But make sure to keep it proportional to the net so that one side of the phone is larger than the other when you place it on the clamp. That way it's proportional to the netting. So once you have the setting that you like, go ahead and attach it to the main contraption for keeping the phone onto the bike. And go ahead and secure the back back screw here and this will keep the silicone piece in place and from moving.
And so once, and so once this is secure, you're going to grab these tabs here and stretch it so that it's going to meet the corners of your phone, like so. And on the back here, you can see, yes, it's going to have to stretch quite a bit to reach the phone, um, but do not worry, this is the meaning of the silicone piece, and it's going to keep your phone extremely, extremely secure because of the amount of tightness on that. And there is this nice, secure phone here. You can rest assured that this phone is going to be very safe on the road. While I'm shaking it, there's absolutely no sound coming out of this piece. And yeah, this seems like a very good product for someone who is who wants to use their phone for GPS or other bike tracking technology. And so here is the pin for securing the, the phone onto your bike. And basically what you do is you adjust the the handlebar holding piece like so until it is large enough so that it will fit onto your handlebars. Also what I noticed is that there is these three clamps here on the back. And so after you've done unscrewing this for a while, it'll come off like this. And I think what you can do is, yes, you can, you can detach the clamp piece here and you can attach it to one of these three pieces, one of these three clamps here, depending on the size of your of your handlebar. So if you have a very large handlebar, you would put it on the outmost, the outmost secure clamp, and then you would, um, once again, you would use the longer screw here because these two screws here, one is shorter and one is longer for your, um, for your clamp here. So because my handlebars are on the larger side, I'm going to put this piece on the biggest setting and I'll use the larger screw here to secure it like this. So that's how I'm going to fit this onto my bike and I'll show you how that works right now. All right, so for a bit of a size comparison, here is the Rome Copilot universal bike mount for smartphones. As you can see, the nice netting in the back makes this look like a extremely revolutionary type of phone uh, mount that will keep your phone secure for many, many miles and over any type of terrain. And here is the Schwinn Universal Bike Mount. As you can see, this thing looks like an old piece of technology compared to the advanced net on the Co Rome Copilot Universal Bike Mount. This, when I had this, when I, when, when I used to use this Schwinn bike mount, I was not satisfied at all because I would always have to put a piece of rubber on the inside of this bike mount because when the phone would sit on these pads here, the phone would not sit all the way on the back of this piece of plastic. So when I would ride over rough terrain, the phone would jiggle back and forth on this and create lots of noise on the road. And it was very annoying and I was not satisfied at all. Also, for people who don't have an iPhone, the cutout here for a phone is only for iPhones that are iPhone 6 and iPhone 8, with the small cutout here that fits into this camera. So if you want to do any, other, any type of recording and you didn't have that type of phone, you're basically out of luck because for me, right now, I have an S10 Plus and the phone cutout is right in the middle here. And there, as you can see, there's absolutely no room here for the cameras to film anything that I would want to film on my bike. And so this was basically just not satisfactory at all. And the clamp here was only, basically the way you would have to adjust it is you would put, you would put a piece of rubber on the inside and I'll basically adjust the size of this hole. But my bike, what was funny is my bike my bike bar was so large that this was not even big enough. And so I had to get a new type of screw to attach this because basically what I used to have was this. This was the default type of screw. And so this screw here would fit on the inside here. And as you can see, that is extremely short for my bike and this would barely hold together, even the largest setting of this, this Schwinn 
universal bike mount. And so what I had to do was I had to take this screw out and that freed up a lot of space and I was able to get a larger fit for my bike. But because of the universal sizes for the clamp on the back here with these three settings, now I can safely fit this onto my bike as such and it will keep the it will keep it secure without any loud noises and I won't have to worry about modifying this clamp at all because I know that it will stay secure and so now guys I'm going to show you it on my bike so here's a shot of the uh, the bike mount on my bike as you can see it is a very excellent mount I highly recommend it due to a couple of reasons first the amount of movement available on this is unprecedented on any of the other bike mounts I've had for phones. This ball and socket joint makes it extremely easy to rotate the phone from portrait to landscape. And I am very satisfied with that because on my other my other mount here, the Schwinn Universal, I would always have to change this setting to make it portrait or landscape and that was very annoying for me because it would take up a lot of time so now with this new piece of technology i'll be able to have this adjustability and secureness for many many miles to come so guys that was my final review of the co-pilot universal bike mount by rome i highly recommend this product for anyone who's looking for a more secure and more satisfactory product than a something like this, like a Schwinn Universal Bike Mount. You can find this on Amazon and many other online retailers. Uh, just go ahead and search up this name here, which is the Rome Copilot Universal Bike Mount. And yeah, you should be able to find this product. And there is also, you can also register for a lifetime warranty at the website there. And also you get 40% off your next purchase if you buy this product, which is what I found in the box. So overall, I love this product, it's easy to install, and you have many options for sizes of your phone, and many different pieces to get the best fit for your phone. Thank you guys for watching Brojo Biking, and I'll see you in the next video.